everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two running backs who are hoping for plenty of running lanes on that field today. It's Rob Kelly's Redskins going up against LeGarrette Blunt's Eagles. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look live there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Washington Redskins. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left, as always, he's Charles Davis. And, Charles, we saw in the open, we've got a couple of great running backs in this game tonight, each capable of putting a team on his back. And I'm excited to talk about the runners, not just the passers who have a big hand and who's going to win this game. Both of these guys are do it all, can run it, can catch it. I can't wait to get this one started. The children will groan. It's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by Kirk Cousins, their Pro Bowl quarterback, in his sixth season now. I think he just gets better and better. He was third in the NFL in passing yardage in 2016. In fact, over the last two seasons, over 9,000 yards passing, the fourth most in the NFL. They go play action here on first down. Throw right side caught by Davis. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it in every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Cousins now on second down. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And now it's third down. And a quick look at Washington's offense. The Washington offense in 2016 ended up ranked in the top five in the NFL. In fact, they were number three overall. So how did they get it done? Well, head coach Jay Gruden, he's the guy who's really the master play caller. He's known for his ability to throw the football but he'd love to run it. They were only number 21 in the league in 2016, coupled with number two in throwing the ball. If they're able to get their running numbers up, they could really be dangerous in 2017. On third down, Cousins. It's brought in by Jackson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Off 
offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They run with it. It's Kelly. Shifts by him. And some room to work. Touchdown, Washington. Rob Kelly, 33 yards. And the Redskins have taken a first quarter lead. Throughout the game, we're going to track so many different statistics, but one is becoming increasingly in vogue, explosive runs, runs of 20 yards or more, and we just saw one right there to open this game. Now we'll see how the other team responds, because when you get a play like that against you this early in the game, you got to feel like your back's against the wall a little bit. Yeah, the pressure now increases on you because your first thought is we have to answer right now. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's good, and the Redskins take a 7-0 lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and Rob Kelly finished it all off with a touchdown run. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. Many wondered if the Eagles gave up way too much to get the number two pick from Cleveland in order to draft Carson Wentz. But after his freshman campaign in the NFL, I think people believe they see positive signs from a big, strong arm guy, an intelligent guy, and a really competitive player. for LeGarrette Blunt, and he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Now whistles as time has run out on this first quarter. 7-0 is our score, and we're back to Philadelphia after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. The Redskins looking for another timeout, and they get it. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime.
And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Donnie Jones set to punt it away now in his 14th year in the NFL. Back deep for the Redskins, Jamison Crowder. Now it's Crowder. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Redskins will take possession for the first and 10. So out now come the Redskins. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Cousins now to throw on first down. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Brandon Graham in there to sack him for a loss of six. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Second down throw for Cousins. And the pressure gets to him again. Brandon Graham in there to get him for his second sack of the night. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. They'll run with Thompson. Now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Now the fourth-year man from Oklahoma, Tress Way on to punt. Back deep is Darren Sproles. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Mike 5-4, Mike 
Now a play fake here on first down. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, it's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. Deep ball, short ball, and that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. go Wentz to Blunt here. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. It'll be a pickup of five and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down so they were behind the sticks so to speak. They needed to make up some ground and they did. Thanks Brandon and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. Both the Eagles and the Redskins have very low rushing totals. It has not been an effective part of either team's game plan, and you wonder if either side will give a more concerted effort to run it in the second half. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now first and 10, Kelly is able to get clear of everybody, and this five-play drive goes for a touchdown. The Redskins up by a touchdown. Eagles on second and seven. Harrigan's got the sack here. This one ends up as a loss of six. First and ten. Graham's got the sack here. This one ends up as a loss of six. Redskins later on the drive. Graham's going to get the quarterback here. This goes for a loss of four. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando. For the call of the second half, let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. We get a glance at the Redskins' defense as they go back out there now. They, they don't want to change anything. They've got zero points against them here, so I would imagine the halftime speech was do more of the same, right? I think you're right, and it's where defensive coordinators have to walk that line of preparing for the adjustments you expect to come, but not taking away the aggressiveness you've already shown. And they've played so well, I think that's the speech. You nailed it. Just go out and do what you've been doing, and we'll adjust if we see anything different later. To this point, they've been spectacular. The drive starts with a handoff to Blum, and he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Working from the gun, Wentz. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. From the gun, it's Wentz. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Wentz finding his new weapon, Jeffrey, for an eagle first down. They've really been able to contain Alshon Jeffrey. That catch a rare exception in this game. And that's a feather in their cap because he's such a tone setter for his team on offense that they try and get him the ball early. And, of course, what comes after that is often and for them to limit him and him not catch a ball until the second half, it's a big reason why his team is behind on the scoreboard. On play action, it's Wentz. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Again, it's Wentz. Caught right side is Jeffrey. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to face a third down. to throw again. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Swearinger. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. second remains now in this third quarter. Well, the drive starts with Rob Kelly. Room here to run. And now look at him go. The 40, 30, and they do get him out of bounds finally, but the damage is done. A big hitter on what proves to be the final play of the third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. down. Here's Cousins. Pryor has it complete. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go.
So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Just one yard to go here on second down. Cousins here to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. And the Eagles will go with an extra DB here as they prepare for a stop on third. Thinking pass all the way. They'll try and run for it with Kelly. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They'll keep it in the hands of Kelly. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. and goal. This is Kelly. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, Quick throw out to the perimeter. Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slander. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But 
that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And Charles, in this situation, this is where the word miracle comes into play. Have to score real fast, maybe throw a jump ball in the end zone and hope for the best. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Ertz has it left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets us into enemy territory across the 40. And give him a gain of 37. And he spikes it here with 35 seconds left. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Don't let him free. Play on tight D. Don't let him free, defense. So they will accept the Still penalty and move forward. Five yards left for the offense. It's second down. Now wins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Unfortunately, uh, he's able to recover himself, but the clock's still rolling here. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And the spike comes with nine seconds left to go. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. 
Now Wentz, got to have this one. And this is caught, but they say out of bounds. Now what a bit of first down, but he couldn't stay in, and as a result, they're going to have to give up the football. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> they're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. And barring something unforeseen, this will be the last play of the game. Cousins just going to take this one down to a knee and end it. Well, the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.